This mulcher startup on CAT Compact Track Loader Video has been created to ensure you can tune the mulcher in a safe and trouble-free manner. Tools needed. Three pressure gauges, one of 6,000 PSI, another of 1,000 PSI, and a 300 PSI. Three adapters of a quarter of an inch NPT to HIDAC Series 1620. Three test hoses, HIDAC Series 1620. An adapter 6JIC female to HIDAC Series 1620. A running T6 JIC C5706XX weatherhead. A 3 quarter inch or 19 millimeter wrench, another one of 9 sixteenths of an inch, a 10 millimeter, and a 15 sixteenths or 24 millimeter. Three Allen T's wrenches, a 3 millimeter, a 4 millimeter, and a 6 millimeter. One tack meter with tape. Preparation. First of all, remove the top cover with a 19 mm wrench. It's a good idea to take time to clean the motor compartment. Then open the belt cover using the same wrench. The transmission belt should not touch the bolt, but barely. Disconnect the hoses from the skid steer. Install a running T6 JIC 5706 with the HIDAC 1626 JIC female adapter. Then install a 10 mm restrictor on the return line, the top one. Install a 6,000 PSI gauge on the press side, bottom test point. Install the 1,000 PSI gauge on the return side. Then install the 300 PSI gauge on the drain case test point, running T. Connect the hoses to the skid steer. Don't forget to install C-clips. Also, make sure to lock the hose connection as shown here. Step 1. Start CTL and warm it up. Engage continuous flow on CTL. Engage auxiliary flow, low idle, with roll thumb all the way and make sure both lights are on on the dashboard. If not, you'll reach 3300 PSI instead of 4000 PSI on working pressure. Warm up the mulcher for one minute minimum. Raise the throttle to max RPM and check the pressure on case drain 300 PSI gauge. The oil pressure can be higher than 40 PSI when hydraulic oil is cold, but at normal temperature pressure must be lower than 40 PSI. If oil pressure is higher than 40 PSI, stop the skid steer and check the CTL O-ring on pressure mail quick fitting, number 4755066. If the drain pressure is okay, proceed to step two. Step two, relief valve settings. Start CTL and warm it up. Stop the mulcher. Once fully stopped, securely block the rotor with a log or wooden block. Important, hydraulic fluid must be heated up for this test. Engage mulcher at full throttle on skid steer. Find the highest pressure on the carrier, 6,000 PSI gauge reading. Adjust pressure relief valve on mulcher using a 9 16 wrench or 4 mm Allen. Pressure read must be 550 PSI higher than the one on skid steer. Important, working on relief valve heats up the oil. Remember, half of a clockwise turn is equivalent to a plus 550 PSI. Step 3. Checking Hydraulic Flow GPM, from CTL. Start mulcher and let hydraulic oil heat up. 
Using a 10 millimeter wrench, release lock nut on shift point screw. Rotate the Allen screw with a 3 millimeter Allen wrench until you reach lowest RPM. In order to do this step, you'll need to know the max displacement of the Mulcher's hydraulic motor. At this position, the hydraulic motor is at full consumption. Using a tachmeter, check RPM on the bottom pulley. The flow rate is equal to the motor CC times ratio times RPM. Per the example, the CAT 299 would be 0.115 times 1.2 times 1133, equaling 156.3 LPM. To know the SAE units, you take your 156.3 LPM and divide it by 3.78, which will give you 41.4 GPM given by the carrier. Step 4. Setting shift point. With rotor still running at low RPM, release shift point screw with a 3 mm T Allen wrench. Quickly observe pressure gauge. Adjust the same screw to bring it down to 2850 PSI. It's important to remember you have a limited time to do this as pressure will return to low consumption. To double check, shut off the mulcher until a complete stop and then re-engage at full RPM. Looking at the 6000 PSI gauge, the first reading, relief valve pressure, second reading, shift point pressure, third reading, free wheeling pressure. Step five, setting the rotor RPM. With the rotor engaged as step one, check the RPM on the bottom pulley. To adjust the RPM, release lock nut with a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch wrench. Using a six millimeter T Allen wrench, screw in to reduce RPM and out to increase it. On the DAF 180D, the RPM must be between 2500 and 2550. For the DAF 150D, the RPM must be between 2600 and 2700. Step six, log information. Note the freewheeling pressure or turning pressure without load. Note the return line pressure. It must be higher than 150 PSI. Note the drain case pressure. Must be lower than 40 PSI. Note the shift point pressure when the motor starts shifting down. Note the screw length, useful to troubleshoot. If you have any general questions or technical concerns to address about the DAF-150D or 180D Mulcher, please contact your dealer or Dennis Simaf Incorporated's technical support. We'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.